Hello, it's the ghost. Welcome to A Stranger World Than Fiction, where we are taking a look at what's all going on out there. The oddities strange that others are claiming to be true. Today we're talking aliens, claims by some pretty reputable people and what they saw and what they did. We talk about the strange and unusual here on Stranger World. Sometimes there are stories that push us and our beliefs. But how do we feel when it seems to come from someone who might actually have something to say and very easily could have experienced something? Well, take a listen to these and let me know what you think. Okay, brought to us by How and Wise. Russian cosmonauts saw 30 meter tall aliens smiling at them in space during 1980 flight of Salyut 7. In the era of space flights, people began to notice strange things that were happening in space. So, in the summer of 1978, Vladimir Kavalyanuk and Alexander Ivanchenko went into space, noticed an undefined spacecraft flying under the orbital station as if observing the cosmonauts. Vladimir described the apparatus as a flashing tennis ball. Kavalyanuk on Salyut 6 again collided with an unidentified object in 1981. The device was located near the station, moving erratically, as if in pursuit of the astronauts. Vladimir saw how the UFO became transparent, inside which there was a jet engine that had no artificial origin. After some time, there were two explosions due to the contraction and expansion of the apparatus. Another striking example is the incident that occurred in 1980 during the flight of the Salyut 6 station. On board were Valery Ryuman and Lonoid Popov. The cosmonauts captured some clots of sparkling spots that took off from the capital of Russia. But this case was confidential. Eleven years later, documents and photographs of unknown spots that occurred in space were announced. However, the evidence disappeared after the events were declassified. In the summer of 1984, the new Salyut 7 station was in space for 150 days. On board were Oleg Otkov, Leonid Kizium, and Vladimir Salivov, who noticed that the entire space station was flooded with a bright orange glow. Looking through the windows, the cosmonauts noticed several unknown creatures, about 30 meters tall, who were flying through space while smiling. In the presence of an extraterrestrial race, astronauts felt calm and serenity. According to the crew members, the humanoids were flying at the same speed as the station for 10 minutes. The crew thought it might be hallucinations or fatigue from hard work. Two weeks later, three more cosmonauts joined the station. Svetlana Savitskaya, Vladimir Dazembakov, and Igor Vok. Upon their arrival on the ship, Salyut 7 was again illuminated by a blinding light. The entire crew decided to look through the windows. Aliens were flying in space again, smiling and giving calmness. The crew of the Mir space station also observed unidentified objects. In the fall of 1990, astronauts saw a certain silverly ball in the Earth's atmosphere. As described by Gennady Manikov, who saw the phenomenon, the object was a sphere that shimmered with silver. Gennady's observation lasted about seven seconds, then the object evaporated. In the spring of 1993, video footage was made showing the movement of a luminous flying vehicle. This video was filmed by a cosmonaut, Musa Manarov who wanted to capture the docking of the cargo compartment. It is still unknown whether these unidentified objects were representatives of a new extraterrestrial race or debris that flew through space. One way or another, people will find out about it in the future. Have you guys heard about it? Well, here's another story to test your beliefs, again by How and Wise. Sumerians built spaceport 
launched spacecrafts and traveled outside solar system 7,000 years ago. In 2016, Iraqi Transport Minister Kazim Finyan made a sensational statement during his business trip to Dakar. According to him, the Sumerians had their own spaceport and actively traveled, including outside the solar system. The Sumerians were one of the ancient advanced civilizations that lived around 7,000 years ago in Mesopotamia between Tigris and Euphrates rivers, which later became Babylonia and is now in Iraq and Syria. The ancient buildings of the Sumerians amaze with their grandeur and are not inferior to the Egyptian pyramids. Naturally, numerous theories are proposed about the purpose of the ziggurats, massive structures built in ancient Mesopotamia, including ufologists' interest. However, nobody expected the official to make such a statement. The Sumerians believed in many gods. They prayed to Anu, supreme god or sky god, Enki, god of water, knowledge, mischief, crafts, and creation, Enlil, lord wind, Inyana, queen of heaven, Utu, sun god, and Sin moon god. They invented numerous technologies including the wheel, cuneiform script, arithmetic, geometry, irrigation, saws, and other tools. Sandals, chariots, harpoons, and beer. Finyan is sure that the first airports and spacecraft platforms were built about 7,000 years ago in the ancient cities of Eridu and Ur. Unfortunately, the minister did not mention where the Sumerians had such technologies from, and why there was no evidence of them. Again, a mystery from a long time ago that we just can't explain. Okay, so you know, there are, guys, a lot of alien stories out there. Claims of lots of sightings, abductions, people have had operations, they're having strange dreams, They're terrified. Sometimes they're out there with their cameras trying to get any glimpse of what they can, and then they share it on the tube. But what do we as a people think about any of this in general? Are there too many videos out there that seem untrue? They are clearly edited footage. Sometimes they're pretty good. It does seem possible to me that we might actually become immune to the idea that there are aliens out there. I mean, they never came, right? We haven't had an invasion that we know of, right? Has the alien idea been around too long? Or do we still think there are true stories out there? I just share what I find, and then it's up to all of us to decide which ones we believe. Thank you for listening today, and I will talk to you all soon.